A year ago today, on the 9th of May 2022, guitarist Richard Benson sadly passed away at the age of 67. Now if this is the first time that you're hearing his passing, then to be honest I'm not really that surprised because there didn't appear to be that much coverage of it at the time. There was an article posted about it in ultimateguitar.com and there were a few fairly small YouTube videos on the topic, but for the most part I thought that the coverage of Richard's passing was sorely lacking. But I thought that today, a year on from his passing, would be a great opportunity to look back on arguably the music industry's most misunderstood individual and look at three important lessons that we can learn from his story. Now having been born in the UK and then moving to Italy at a very young age, Richard Benson's career as a guitarist began in the 1970s with the formation of a progressive rock group called Buen Vecchio Charlie. Apologies to any Italian subscribers I have who may be appalled at that pronunciation. He then went on to release a number of solo albums in the 80s and 90s and even released some guitar instructional videos. So he clearly seemed to be doing very well for himself, but unfortunately this isn't what Richard Benson is known for by the majority of people online. You see, in his later years, Richard Benson had very often been given the title of the world's worst guitarist by people online. Videos mocking his playing ability often received thousands, hundreds of thousands, even millions of views on YouTube in particular. So what on earth happened? The albums and the instructional DVDs that he previously released clearly showed that he could play the guitar very well. Did he stop practicing? Did he lose his passion for music and just become lazy? Or even, as some people have claimed, was he just pretending to be a bad player for the sake of internet fame? Unfortunately, the truth is a lot sadder. You see, from around the 90s onwards, Richard Benson began to suffer from chronic arthritis, which seriously hindered his ability to play, getting worse over time. I could never truly understand what it's like to suffer from this condition. However, the impact on Richard Benson's playing ability was clear for all to see. But just because Richard could no longer play anywhere near as well as he was able to before, doesn't mean that he stopped trying. Rather than give up on his dream, Richard continued to perform and make music for the rest of his life. It's a story of admirable perseverance and determination. And that brings me to the first lesson that we can learn from Richard's story. Never give up on your dreams, even when the odds seem against you. Now unfortunately, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, in the latter years of his life, Richard Benson became a laughing stock online, particularly on YouTube, where videos of his supposed bad playing circulated online, often amassing millions of views. And with some of the largest content creators of the online music scene, I'm mentioning no names, sadly getting involved in this without understanding the true context of what was going on. But thankfully there had been some pushback against this as well. Many of these videos received a lot of criticism from people who were aware of Richard's condition. And many of these YouTubers were forced to backtrack and apologize for these videos they had made, mocking this disabled man for simply trying to carry on with his dream. That brings me to the second important lesson that we can learn from Richard Benson's story. Make sure you know the full context before commenting on these kind of things. All of this could have been avoided if these YouTubers had simply taken the time to look into Richard's story and understand why he was playing the way that he was. Now I'm aware that I'm being fairly generous here by assuming that many of these content creators were not aware of Richard's condition before making these videos. It is of course possible that they were entirely aware all along, but they just couldn't resist the views, they couldn't resist the opportunity to mock somebody online for their own personal gain. And if that is the case, which again, I hope it isn't, but if it is, I simply have no words for those people. But again, I would like to think that that wasn't the case in the vast majority of instances, so we'll move on from that. But perhaps most sadly of all, the abuse that Richard Benson receives wasn't just online. It became a trend for people to turn up to his shows for the sole purpose of throwing things at him. Just have a look at this video. That is a disabled man being helped to his chair on stage whilst people throw things at him. How these people can sleep at night, I have no idea. Now there were other health issues alongside his arthritis. In 2000, Richard suffered a serious leg injury after falling from a bridge, with some alleging that this may have been a attempt, although this has never been fully verified. And in 2016, he and his wife appeared on video appealing for donations to pay for medical procedures that he needed due to heart problems that he was also suffering from. And he is also known to have suffered from severe mental health issues as well. Now this brings me to my next point. There have been some people online who have theorized that Richard was simply playing up to the abuse that he received and essentially was using it to keep his career going, to keep him relevant, some people have said. 
Now we'll never know for certain if this was the case, but if what we've heard about his mental health issues are true, which I don't have time to go into fully, but believe me, it does get pretty bad the more you look into it. I just cannot imagine that he was in the mental state to make such a decision in the first place. And even if he did, is that not also quite sad, the fact that he thought the only way his music career could continue is to subject himself to this level of abuse, not just online, but as we saw in the video earlier, in person, at his shows as well. So that's the third and final lesson we can learn from Richard Benson's story, just don't be a dick. So that's the video, it was a short one, but hopefully one that's got you thinking. Please leave a comment down below um, to let me know whether you were aware that Richard Benson had passed away because the impression I got is that many people didn't know but maybe I'm completely wrong about that. Please leave a comment below letting me know. And it feels kind of weird asking for a like and a subscribe after such a sombre video but it does really help out this channel. So if you want to support what I do and see this channel continue to grow then that would be greatly appreciated. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.